Good evening, code lovers, and those who are planning to fall in love with the code right now. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I've been into QA and coding world for about nine years, and today I want to show you how to show off during an interview. How, specifically, how to record the time in JavaScript or how to find out what function is faster, this one or that one. Specifically, today I saw a conversation between multiple people in our Code Family Telegram channel. Uh, they, QA engineers, they were asking what should they use? Should they use Faker library? Or should they, create a, should they create a randomizer in a plain JavaScript? Just a random function to create random string. So, I'm going to show you how to find out which one is faster by measuring time in JavaScript. So, during the interview, when they ask you, hey, what was the cool thing that you've done? Or they just start talking about it, libraries, etc. And you, you ask them, hey, what do you guys use? Faker or do you create a JS uh, random strings on your own? If they choose the slower one, you'll say, you know what? I've measured the time. I know this one is faster by that amount of percent. So let's go ahead and, and write a code so you guys will know how exactly you can measure the time. But before I proceed, I want to quickly remind you guys to give me a big fat thumb up to hit the subscribe button below because uh, you guys do enjoy this video because you guys do like me because you guys do want to help me out, right? Please do. Let's go. First of all, let's Google how to create random string in JS. Uh, create random string JS stack overflow. And I believe they will have a function right here. So the pure JS function that we need. All right, now let's create a file in our project. Touch test JS. Created it, I've pasted. Let's run our file. As you all know, we do it with the node.js, with the node test JS. Great, we did create a random string, random string, random string. Awesome. Now let's import a library. I'm going to Google npm js i believe that's the website npmjs.com yep that's the place where you can find all sort of the libraries and we're going to look for faker this is an old faker it used to be the most popular one but a year ago the guy something happened to this guy not, not sure who it is and what happened to him but he called it he called the version 666 and it's broken and no one updates it since then and pretty much uh, all the people from the world who've been using it are uh, were kind of stuck with a bit with it for a bit until they moved to something else. Now this one is an alternative and it's pretty cool. I've used it in a couple of projects. Okay, we're gonna go back here. We're going to import it. Hold on. We're going to install it first. While it's installing, we're gonna save time, get here, copy the code gonna paste the import now we're gonna console log it it's going to be the faker dot um, I believe it's a data type dot string perfect and how does it work oh we can even specify the amount of random strings uh, random characters five great let's run it one more time and oops test, uh, there'll be node, test.js, awesome, uh, version 18, I'm good, I think we're missing in a package.json, we have to say uh, type, if I'm not mistaken, type, and then module, perfect, and if I run the code again, it should work, great, it did, now we do have the code here, for both of options. First one is actual pure JS function and the second one is an import. So now let's find how to how to record time in JavaScript. So record time in JS. How to measure time taken by a function to execute. I think this one uh, I've used that before performance now. I think I've used something else. This one. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. I've used that long time ago at one of the projects. Okay, I'm going to move this code right here. We're going to change this something to pure JS. 
and then we're going to paste the code here move our faker code and we're going to change it to faker faker well just faker is enough cool let's run it once and let's see what is faster all right pure js three seconds hold on or three milliseconds and faker much faster that doesn't sound right let me run it again how come i'm not getting it how come the js pure js can be slower than a faker that's pretty interesting let's increase this number to to actually 50 characters let's see how is it going to change it because it doesn't make sense to me three milliseconds and faker is still faster oh wow oh because of the while loop we have to while loop a lot of times with a random and that's probably why it's so slow so pure javascript randomizer at least this one maybe there is another way to do that to do it but seems like this method is much slower than a faker so faker does have so many benefits and honestly i thought that the pure js will be faster uh, but that's quite interesting to me and i thought that i would have to put this function somewhere into helper method because it's going to be uh, too fast but it it's here we didn't even import it the way we did import faker and it is so slow with that while loop i would have to take a look at the faker underneath of the hood and see what makes it so fast but you guys can see that the pure js takes three milliseconds while faker takes half of the millisecond so faker is six times faster officially please use this trick at your interviews now you guys can show off during interview with another thing by the way uh, this is just a, one of the hundreds of ways to show off during the interview that we show in our economify school so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up hit the subscribe button below and i'll see you next time